call me a girl. What's up, everyone? It's DJ. Welcome to Gamma Bro Hulk Reviews. Now for your Gamma Dose of the J Giant. Today's Hulk featured item is a very, very awesome one. This is from a company that uh, ceases to exist anymore, but they made, in my opinion, the best comic accurate related Marvel statues ever. I think when it comes to comic style, colors, anatomy, just the total package, including the base, I think Bowen Designs was the best 1-6 scale Marvel statue company ever. And I still think that they are up there in terms of quality and style of particularly Marvel characters. So if they were still here today and they upped their game into scale of 1 fourth, 1 third scale statues, some of their sculpts, especially Hulk, I mean, there's tons. I can go on and on. Thanos, Galactus. I mean, there's a ton that are just absolutely amazing. But um, today, I'm going to be featuring one of my Hulks. I have a lot of Bone Designs Hulk statues. And this one is the Maestro. Here he is right now. So as for the size, it's one-sixth scale. So we're talking roughly 12 to 14 inches, including the base. Now, in regards to anatomy... I think the statue is absolutely flawless. I think Maestro's face is absolutely amazing. All the different warts and markings. I love his beard and the grimace with his teeth. Bowen did a fantastic job with uh, showing emotion through the eyes. Because Maestro isn't really about rage. He's more calculated and just... Very, very smart, and I think they really portrayed that in the eyes, especially. Now, what's cool about Maestro is he's in an apocalyptic earth, and his body adapted to a ridiculous amount of gamma radiation. So that reflects on his skin. I mean, the color of his skin, he's very dark olive color with light browns. You have all the different warts. And the reactions that his skin have went through over the years. And it really shows. Now Maestro again isn't the bulkiest of Hulks. But he's very cut. And in control of his power. Um, I love his the colors they chose for the pants. And his belt. It has very red candy paint on the belt. Which I think is fantastic. And then you have his classic blue pants. Again, just enough uh, muscle structure and tone through it. Not too many rips. And where they are, it's very intended. The boots. So one boot is normal. And you can see a couple rips throughout it. And this other one, he is ripping through it. Where you can see his feet, his toes, and his ankle. But there are tons of little Easter eggs all over the base here. So we have, see if we can figure it out, we have uh, Black Widow's gun. We have a couple ribs. It looks like a part of a spine. A lot of broken weaponry. Of course, Mjolnir. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a bomb, maybe. Or a gauntlet to something. I'm not really sure. But there's the Eye of Agamotto for Doctor Strange. And we have Iron Man. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have a hand of somebody. I'm not sure. It looks like it's linking up here to Wolverine. But this is definitely Wolverine because of his adamantium skull. This doesn't look like the same shade. Doesn't look like it's the adamantium. So I'm not sure whose hand this is. Or probably a well-known hero or villain. And on the back we have Daredevil. And a lot of just broken pieces of weaponry and rebar and buildings. And then we have one of the best villains in Marvel, Doctor Doom. Which this is interesting because I don't want to give anything away. But in the current most recent Maestro run, he plays a big part in that. So it's interesting that his mask is here. But very, very cool storytelling. Also, you get... Captain America's shield, which I took off just because it's loose. And when I moved the statue, I didn't want to drop the shield. So I'll show you where that goes. Captain America's shield goes right in the slot right here. Just like that. So that's what it looks like. And then you also have Spider-Man's mask on a sword sheath. 
which I think is pretty cool. A lot of people didn't realize this is an actual sword and sword sheath. Maybe blades. I'm not sure whose. But what I like to do is I like to put it right back here over top of the shield, just like so. So then you have Spider-Man's mask right above the shield. So you can see it when you're posing your maestro, just like that. Look how amazing that is. So again, Bowen is just absolutely amazing. I think this is a low run of like 750, might even be less. I don't feel like taking the base off to look, but I don't think it was very big run. Made of resin, very high quality. Sculpt is definitely high nines. Paint is high nines. Everything about this is in the nines. So if you're a maestro fan and you don't want a throne pose, you want a nice action pose, how could you not go wrong with this statue? I like this pose. And a lot of these are considered museum poses, so they're more, you know, standing up in a stagnant pose compared to something like more action poses like that Hulk or like that Hulk. For this specific series run of Hulks, there's Gladiator Hulk and a Grey Hulk and a Green Retro Hulk, and they all have similar stances to this. But Maestro is the only one that is posed more towards the side. So when you have the bases like this, how normally all the Hulks are, they're facing towards you, like this direction. So you pose them like this, but Maestro, you actually pose him this direction, which I think is pretty neat. So I'll just give you one more close up of the face. Again, amazing statue. So you can check like maybe auction sites, you know, eBay, Macari. You'll probably find him anywhere from like five fifty to a thousand dollars. It really ranges. It fluctuates in price through there depending on if it's used or the quality and make sure it's in really good condition with both shippers and the outside shipper box and all that shenanigans. But you're looking at around maybe seven fifty if you put it in the middle, so plus shipping. But um Maestro fan, Hulk fan, if you don't want to go for one fourth or one third for the really, really big scales like him. And you want to go more for like a, a little bit smaller range and size and for room if you have like space issues within your collections and stuff. One six scale is perfect and you can fit a ton of them and they look great together. So highly recommend it, especially if you're a Maestro fan. So Hulk smash the like button, subscribe if you like, and I hope you enjoyed this one six scale bone designs Maestro statue. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.